How to Recognize Quicksand You are trekking through a marsh, minding your own business, and all of a sudden, you fall. And it's quicksand. You are trapped. And the bigger misfortune is that you are alone. What will you do now? There is no one to come rescue you with a twig or stick which you can pull and save yourself. Will quicksand kill you? This is a question that revolves around our minds when we hear the word quicksand. The image of a person drowning will come to your mind when you think of quicksand. And this sounds very scary. Well, you need to know that the quick sign is far from being this much dangerous. People and animals engulfed and lost in this quicksand do not happen very much frequently. The reason behind this is the density of quicksand is more than that of the human body. And this means that it is almost impossible for a human being to sink unless he struggles. No matter what Hollywood might tell, it is almost impossible to be killed by quicksand. If you want to know more about quicksand and how to recognize it, then this video is for you. Because in today's video, we will be telling you how to recognize the quicksand and how to prevent yourself from sinking in it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. Let's get started. Is quicksand real? Where is it found? And what is quicksand made of? These are the common questions that come to our minds related to quicksand. Well, you need to know that it is not as deadly as it is shown in movies, but still, quicksand can throw an unsuspecting hiker for a loop. Quicksand is a natural version of pulling the rug out from under you and it is considered a rare occurrence that can panic even the most seasoned hiker. What is quicksand? You need to know that it is a bit of a misnomer. The reason behind this is that it is not always sand only. It is actually a mixture of sand, clay, or particles of dirt that are mixed into water, or in the other way, you can say that these things contain trapped water. As a result of this trapped water, the sand turns into thick mud that collapses under moving weight. After a while, this quicksand then resolidifies, trapping whatever may have sank into its depths. You might have seen in the movies that quicksand is mostly not found in deserts. But this is always not the case. Why? This is because for the formation of this substance, the presence of water is compulsory. The water flowing underground agitates the sand, which can lead to the creation of quicksand. So this is the reason that quicksand is normally found near riverbanks, marshes, and beaches. An interesting thing about quicksand is that it has a density of about 2 grams per milliliter. On the other hand, the density of the human body is about 1 gram per milliliter. So at this level of density, sinking into the quicksand is almost impossible for a human being. No doubt that you will sink in the quicksand up to your waist, but you would go no further. Even objects which have a higher density than this substance will float on it until they start to move. For instance, in the case of aluminum, its density is about 2.7 grams per milliliter. But still, aluminum floats on the top of quicksand until the sand is liquefied as a result of motion. Construction engineers once used to consider quicksand as a special type of saint, but now it is known to be a condition that may occur with a nice end of its effective weight is temporarily or permanently carried by 
in terrestrial water, you need to know that some natural sands are so loose that even a minor disturbance, such as those caused by footsteps, may collapse the structure. And as a result, quicksand is produced. If you struggle on the top of quicksand, then it will surely lead to loss of balance and drowning. In case you accidentally find yourself stuck in quicksand, then the best idea is to lean back so that the weight of your body is distributed over a wide area. Slow back and forth movement can actually let water into the cavity around a trapped limb, and this will cause the quicksand to lose its hold. Getting out of this trap will take a while because physicists have calculated that the force needed to extract your foot from quicksand at a rate of one centimeter per second is nearly equal to the force needed to lift a medium-sized car. If you want to save yourself, then don't panic. This is a standard for any crisis, and keeping a level head ensures that you make rational decisions more effectively. In the case of quicksand, it is very important because panic movements may cause you to sink further down the quicksand and you go sinking on and on. So make sure that you don't make things worse for yourself by making panic movements. Another important tip for you in this case is to remove any additional weight if you can. It is important for you to know that any kind of adventure backpacks and other heavy equipment can cause you to sink further down and make it more difficult for you to get out. As mentioned earlier, your body floats on quicksand, but if you are carrying really heavy gear, then you would sink in it. Remove as much as you can, and these includes jackets also. One of the most amazing methods to free yourself from quicksand is doing a back float position. This will cause your weight to distribute over a larger area, and it will be very easy for you to escape. If you find a tree branch or vine near you, then try to reach them and help yourself completely out of the quicksand. This was all for today's video. Hope you liked it. What will you do to save yourself from quicksand if you ever get trapped accidentally? Mention this in the comment section below. Don't forget to ring the notification bell for more amazing and interesting videos. Thanks for watching.